thing I want to talk about today is making sure that when you do your woodworking, specifically with portable power tools, you're keeping yourself real safe in the shop. And what this is all about is securing your work. I've taught a lot of woodworking classes, and I've watched students who aren't quite familiar or comfortable with portable power tools doing some funky stuff, and it just kind of creeps you out because you want to make sure that your fingers never get in the way of a cutter. So the first thing that we're going to look at here is routing the edge of a board. We're going to run a profiling bit all the way around, all four edges. And so the easiest way to do that is to have the work secured on a non-skid surface like I've got here. And what we'll be able to do is set our work up on those pods. And what's cool about this is that because those are non-skid, the work isn't going to move when I route on it. Additionally, I don't have any hold downs going this way. So it's going to let me go all the way around the perimeter in one fluid motion. That's going to give me better results rather than clamp it, route, get to the clamp, move the clamp, blah, 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 blah. Second verse, same as the first. So let me show you how this works with our work secured up on those non-skid pads. So again, a couple great attributes here. The work stays put, it's in a position where I can easily work on it, and it's on those non-skid pads that hold it in place. I'm gonna take this mechanism off of here and we'll move on to another one. A biscuit joiner is really a great way to assemble components. One of the things I hate seeing is when somebody tries to secure the work with one hand while they're cutting a biscuit slot with the other. Not at all safe. The other thing that we really rely on with a biscuit joiner is if you're registering off the bottom of the machine, we want to make sure that the wood is really securely held down so that registration surface is consistent from part to part to part. So in this case, what we really want to do is get a hole down in place that's going to secure the work. This is going to buy me a couple of different things. One, my work is now nice and solid so I don't have to have a hand there. Two, I know that the bottom of the wood is right down on the tabletop, making sure that that reference surface is the same from component to component. So my lesson for you out of this is using a biscuit joiner, make sure that your work is secure, make sure that your reference surfaces are uniform, and we're going to get good results and keep your fingers safe. Next thing we're going to have a look at here is routing a dado across this piece of plywood, common operation to do with a handheld router. And in this case, I need a couple things to happen. I want to make sure that I can cantilever my work off the bench because my fence on my router is going to call for that and I want to make sure that the material doesn't creep at all while I'm routing it. So in this case we're going to get some lateral pressure on it and with this piece cantilevered then I can also ride my fence out here and here's how that's going to look. So the moral of the story for me is, I really want you to start with 10 and quit with 10. I want to make sure that when you're using any tool, in this case particularly portable power tools, your work is secure so you can concentrate on the cut, you can have two hands on the tool, and make sure that you're enjoying your woodworking, you're getting good results, 
and you're staying safe. Mm -hmm.